That's the 50-50 argument is that we put in work for this too. And we have to approach that from a scholastic view. We have to intellectually argue these points instead of running away from it and getting caught up in pan-Africanism and all that other bullshit. This is our country, black people. We worked for it. This is ours. We need to fight for it here. I agree with that. Liberal America, uh, Democratic part, the Democratic Party is bringing in as many immigrants as they can to have low-class labor so they can replace American people. And is that is that un, is that right or wrong? I don't know. If that's policy, but I know that if actual Americans, white Americans, Black Americans, the descendants of our ancestors, if we defend this thing and we stand up and build industries, there's no way in the world that immigrants are supposed to be making more money in America than Americans. Uh, I agree with that. But, I agree with that. But the Asian community, Nigerians, by the dollar amount, they make more money than the average white person or Black person. Period. And they're covering out entire communities right right under your nose this is why we must wake up this is why we must really get in tune and get into the information uh that's happening around us outside of who's snitching and and brown booty hoes and pink <laughs> coochie hoes like we have to we have to wake up from that um i think it's gonna be very difficult with our programming so you need program ice cube is trying to build a media entity he's trying to have a sports team a sports league and he's facing actual financial pushback because black folks refuse to support this man. And they don't, they refuse to re support him because he had a meeting with the representative from Donald Trump's camp. Well, you know, white ice is colder too, you know, because we'll, su we'll support anything. Most things white, we will support over, over black ran organizations, which not to say that we don't have our issues. Cause we do have issues that we need to correct. But even when there's those of us that are trying to do something for us, there's always a lot more pushback. Have black folks did some bad business, been in scamming culture. Hell yes, yes. we have. Yes. But the only way that we can replace that is yes. I acknowledge that Tulsa, Oklahoma happened. We got to build five more Tulsa, Oklahoma's and all we want, is the freedom to exist. If you bomb my shit, then we're going to send you to, we're going to send you to jail. We're going to give you the life sentence and we're going to rebuild with insurance. Are we promoting black people to be police officers? Are we promoting black people to be, uh, or I should say influencing to be councilmen, civil uh, servants, civil servants. Like we run away from these things, not understanding the impact and influence we can make. If we get in and begin to do our own hiring. See, look, that affirmative action thing is an issue, but just imagine this for, if you will, imagine if we begin to infiltrate these organizations, just as other communities have begun, like the Asians and like the Indians, and we get in a place where we get to hire the way we want. Can't say we're racist if you walk in and you don't see any real diversity. If you see, hey, this was a place that wasn't normally blacks, but we've hired a bunch of black people in here. You, you, have, can't, yeah. you need affirmative action if you're asking to be in someone else's space. You don't true. need affirmative action if you design your own space. That's true. I don't have to ask permission to go home. Hey. That's true. <laughs> Shit, That's true. man. Like, we got to build it. If we build it, they will come. That's true. Black gas stations, black hotels, black business, man. And it comes in collaboration with working with other business folks. I think they said as black people, too, we have, uh, as consumers, I think we spend trillions of dollars. Like, we spend tr trillions of dollars each year. Uh, so that's your capitalism. I mean, well, that's your capital. I mean, that. so we often think we need to go to banks. We think we need to go to all these other institutions to get money. We actually have enough money. Hey, you guys could be given to this podcast. There are people out there right now that could be donating and giving to this podcast so we can build it up and continue to get this information out. You give it to church. You, you give it to the preacher who we don't, he's shaky sometimes, but you could be donating here, buying our merch that we have coming out. All these things that we have coming to invest things near you, you can invest in us so we can continue to invest in you. There you go. The greatest American live.